Action Park Media. And he says, uh, we got new charges against Mr. Molina. New charges. My, my lawyer's like, what, what? Threatened to kill an FBI agent and his family. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. You're listening to the skinny with Joey Merlino. We're back. Episode six, the skinny with Joey Merlino and Little Snuff. We're back in Boca Raton, straight out of South Philly. What's up, Cougene? What's up, Cougene? We just left Philly. Today, today I took my dogs with me to celebrate the Phillies win. They got their Phillies gear on. We got Sonny over here, my boy. We got my girl Gigi over there. Celebrating Red October. Red October. They're celebrating the Phillies' win, and they're going to uh, sweep uh, Arizona and send them, send them home. Send them right home. The dogs are ready. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring Brigitte. You know, he's a little heavy. He's fatter than Angela. <laughs> yeah, he How is. the fuck's he going to get on the plane? He can't get on the plane. No, the bulldog can't fly. No, but he can't fly. We're, we're big dog people. Yeah, we love. I love my dogs. These, these two guys sleep with me every night. Yeah. Every night. There's Don't There's nothing miss. better than having two dogs, that kind of companionship. They're better. Than, I'd rather be around dogs than humans. They're... They're better than most humans. Yeah, absolutely. Look at these the Phillies best. jerseys. The little bandana. They got the, yeah, they got the Harper bandana on. They're ready. Celebrate our victory last night. Let's get rid of Arizona. Go right into the fight in Phillies, and we're going to be on Broad and Shunk sooner Bro- than later. Sooner than later. Sonny's getting restless now. You all right, Sonny? <laughs> you all right, my boy? All right. All right, I'll we'll, put you down here. We'll put the doggies down, and then we're going to we continue have, on. Y- yes, we are. All right, Sonny, right. say goodbye. Go ahead. So we gotta keep we gotta keep telling everybody, don't forget, find us on YouTube. You always subscribe on YouTube. Apple, gotta go on Apple, Spotify, you can listen to us on the way to work every single day, leaving work before work or when you're home, just relaxing. That's it. You gotta subscribe though. Always gotta subscribe and our merchandise promo code is skinny. We're gonna have a new lineup in next week. We're shipping this week. All merchandise got sold out fast. We got sold out. We didn't know it was gonna go that fast. Yeah, so sorry for that, but We'll have all the stuff for you. All the stuff will be shipped out this week. We're going to have a new lineup. Me and you are going to be on some shirts, some hats, some coffee cups, some Yetis. We got things coming for girls. We got polo golf shirts coming. We got we got some good things about to take place. Yeah, we got some nice stuff coming. We got a shirt with uh, with me and Snuff's going to be on it next, and we got a hat without a out a lid. Yeah, we got to put the wig in there. Yeah, we got to get the wig. So the, the the lid's going to be on there. We might sell wigs. Yeah, you never know. You never we know. We might get in the hair business. Yeah, get in the hair business. For for coming on episode six, everything for us has been happening really fast. Right. We blew up fast. Subscribers, views, everything. Let's just jump right into it. Let's jump into the story that everybody wants to hear about. I really don't know much about it. I would love to hear about it today. Tell me where it took place at the RICO case that you got where they say you threatened the FBI. No, that wasn't a RICO case. Oh, that no, wasn't a RICO. No, I got lock, locked up for the RICO case. Okay. When I got locked up for that case, I wound up getting two more cases after that. But really? Like Trump. So I got locked up for a RICO case. Okay. They came to my house six in the morning. I knew, I knew the cops too. I mean, Pinero used to follow my father around. Yeah. He was a regular cop. Then what they, year was this? 99. Wow. But I'm going back in the I was seven. Er, early 90s and 80s. He used to follow my father. You know, there was, there was around us. He was around my father more than my mother. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they come to the house, six in the morning, guns out. All they had to do was call me up after they came out. I never, yeah. I never ran in my life. No. I never missed a case, never jumped bail, nothing. They came in like animals. My my daughter, my daughter Sophia, was one years old. She was in bed with us. Wow. They had guns out. I, you know, I, I was scared. They would have thought it was a dog. God forbid, shoot. Who, who the fuck knows? You know. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, they take me out of the house. My mother comes out. It's a big free for all outside. They throw my mother on the ground. My wife Marty came down. They pushed in. It was a big scene. They, yeah. they had the whole street blocked off. They had a, a hundred cars. I mean, it was crazy. <laughs> so. <clears throat> They get me in a car. We're we're having words. Fuck you. Fuck you. They take me to. Uh, I got locked up in Margate, so they drove me from Margate to Camden County. So you were in Margate when they came and got yeah, you. Yeah, down the shore. You were down the shore, just yeah. Yeah. I got home five in the morning. They came at six. <laughs> Hung over. Yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. get an ounce of sleep. <laughs> yeah, nothing. No. Straight so, out of memories. Yes. So they drive me to Camden. Uh, because they couldn't take me to Philly. The okay. case was out of Philly, but. It, it, uh, I didn't fight extradition, so they got to take you to court in New Jersey first. Gotcha. So they took me to Camden, Camden County. I, w- I went in and get processed. I was in Camden County Jail. Then they took me to Philly. 
I don't know if it took me that day or whatever. I don't know. I was in a jail county, Camden County, a couple of days. Yeah. So now we go settled in. They, um, I had to go. Uh, oh, I went for bail. Yeah. Bail hearing. So we go to the bail hearing, and uh, my lawyer said she could bail. I put up 25 properties. 25 people put their properties up. To get you out of jail. Yeah. So if I leave, yeah. I got 25 fucking homeless friends, family. Yeah. <laughs> Which I was never going to leave anyway. Of course. When we get up, we go to get, go for bail. The Barry Gross gets up, and he says, uh, "We got new charges against Mr. Molino. New charges." My, my lawyer's like, "What? What? Threatened to kill an FBI agent and his family." I'm like, "What? The fuck yeah. is he talking about?" Judge said, "That's a serious charge," which it is, you know. Yeah, of course. No bail. They sent me to uh, Farrington. They put me in a hole. Then they shipped me to. Warsaw, Virginia, County Jail, Virginia. So there was, as soon as you got denied bail, they shipped you right out. It was yeah, like, that was it. Fact, yeah, they shipped me to wow. Warsaw, Virginia. So I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the fucking hole over there. And the hole, what they call it shoe, special housing unit, yeah. is you don't get the fuck out. You're in a room, just lock yourself in your bathroom and take the shower out. 23 you got a toilet, hours a day. A toilet, a sink, no TV, no phone, no nothing. Nothing. So I'm in there. For like a month, they kept me there. No visits. Wow. No calls. I get a legal call. <clears throat> so I'm laying in a cell one day, and my charges was threatening to kill an FBI agent, Mark Pinero, and his family. His kids. I didn't even know he had kids. Yeah. Totally separate from what you thought you were getting arrested for. Nothing to do with the RICO case. Yeah. And then I got, the RICO case got me this threat case. Yeah. And then after my RICO case, I got another case. I beat, I beat the charge in Philadelphia Federal Court. Okay. The next day, they indicted me in New Jersey, Newark Federal Court. That fat motherfucker, uh, Chris Christie. Yeah. He, he was the U.S. Attorney. He's a fucking donut away from looking like Pavarotti. <laughs> but that's a story for another day. Yeah. I'll tell you about that. I'll do another the Rico case. case on another show, and I'll okay. do the Jersey case on another show. All right, that's fine. So back to the threat case. Yeah. So I'm in I'm in the county jail, Sitting and I'm the laying there, laying yeah. there. I said, how the fuck could I be charged with killing an FBI agent when the guy's not an FBI agent? He's a cop. Threatening, they said. Yeah, yeah threatening. Threatening to, threaten to yeah. kill him. He's a, he's a regular cop. Mm -hmm. He was no FBI agent. Yeah. They made him like organized crime, but they were regular cops. He yeah. would be working the Phillies game tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. it wasn't for, for, for Tangs. Yeah. So anyway, I'm pinched. We go to trial. They come to me. Let me see. Right before, first they offered me to plead guilty six years. Six years. I didn't fucking do nothing. Yeah. So... That we're getting ready to go to trial. They said, plead guilty to three months. I said, I ain't pleading guilty to a motherfucker. To thing. nothing, so you didn't do anything. And I had the best lawyer in the world, Ed, Ed Jacobs. That was your lawyer then, Still Ed Jacobs, my, yeah. always, always my lawyer. He saved my life three times. Absolutely. He's a, the best lawyer in the country. I don't yeah. care what anybody you says. You always said that about him. The best. Yeah. So anyway, we go to trial. Trial lasted maybe three weeks. Federal court in Camden, New Jersey. We, we go to trial. We picked the jury, like, man, a day or two. The trial didn't last, I don't know, it last a couple weeks. Yeah. This Pinero gets on the stand. So I knew something was going on, because there was all kind of witnesses going up. Now, Pinero's the FBI agent. No, he's a fucking cop. Okay, the cop. Who I thought was an FBI. No, I knew he was an FBI Yeah, agent. yeah, but they made him one. No, here's what they did. You ready for this one? This Go gets ahead. better. They adopted him. What the fuck do you mean? I said, what do you mean they adopted adopt him? Like when you go adopt a dog? Yeah, adopt a dog, adopt a kid. They yeah. adopted a fucking cop. So wow. now, if they adopt him, that makes him an agent. Okay. Which I didn't know. I don't know his fucking shit. Yeah. All right. So we go to we go to trial. You know, we're we're, we're on trial. Yeah. There's thank God I had a jury. There's 20 witnesses. They call him as the last witness. I seen the the prosecutor. Her name is Mary Future, and Gross. They both they hated me. Yeah. Now they're in private practice making millions of dollars on my name. Anyway, I seen him put tissues on the top of the stand. You know, like. Were the witnesses. Okay. We had 30 witnesses up there. They never had tissues up there. He gets up. He's sitting there. You know, he gets on the stand. This motherfucker was better than Al Pacino in The Son of a Woman. Really? He started crying. I mean, he was good. Yeah. I'm sitting there. I said, maybe I did do this? What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? He, he started. Yeah, he had. I'm fucking. I said, I didn't do this, but this, he was good. Yeah. Fucking He's making joy. He had the like joy's attention. Happened. He fucking. Yeah. He cried his eyes out. He said he couldn't go home. His main thing was as soon as, soon as they locked me up, he had to go home. They had 24-hour protection around his house. 
His kids couldn't go to soccer games, softball games. They had to sit in the house. They were scared to death. Like, yeah. I mean, he made this. It sound good. Yeah. I mean, he, he was good. I got to give it to him. Absolutely. So anyway, that's why there's a God. My cousin, who's a priest, mm -hmm. Father Kelly. The best. <clears throat> now he knows I'm locked up. He, he comes. They tried to bury him, too. That's another story, I'll tell you. The media, you know, of they course. put him on the front of the paper. Yeah. Anyway, my, the, my father, the priest comes to my lawyer. He calls my mother. My mother calls the lawyer. Yeah. And the guy said that as soon as he locked me up, he was so scared to death, he went home, 24-hour police surveillance outside his house. Kids couldn't go to school, soccer games, softball, the whole thing, crying. Yeah. I said, look at this. He forgot. He lied. Yeah. We find out through my cousin, the priest, there's a, a, a company that cleans the church. I don't know the guy. I don't know who he is. Okay. So now it was like big headlines. I was on the front page of the paper every day. Yeah. So the guy just says, he don't know he's my cousin, Father Kelly. He said, you hear about that case, the Merlino case? He's like, he's like, yeah, I heard a little bit about it. He said, yeah. He said, I, I, I know the cop, Panero. He said, oh, you know him? He said, yeah. He said, I went golfing with him that, that day uh, they locked Merlino. Wow. So, my, my lawyer's like golfing. So if he was that scared, but he's golfing, he's shooting right, 18. Right, golfing. Wow. Now, they never told you to tell us. And of meanwhile, course. I got his report. The day he locked me up, my lawyer blew it up fucking 20 feet in the air. It's a 302. Yeah. It's, it's what the FBI writes, a 302 okay. report. He, he wrote on the report everything. We fought outside cursing, you know, fuck you, this, that. He never put in there that I threatened him. This is 10 minutes after he locked me up. Yeah. If I threatened him, why didn't he write it down right there? Of course, there? yeah. He never put that in there. They... they it was, it was all made. It was all made up. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, my lawyer's got him on the stand after all the crying and everything. My lawyer says, "Tell the jury where you went. As soon as you lock Merlino up, tell them where you went." Right after that. Yeah. Because he said he went home with the cops, the villains. He said he's like he's like he didn't want to answer the question. My lawyer said, "Listen," and he said, "I went golfing." Wow. You went golfing. You were scared to death, threatened for your life. You went golfing. Golf. He went to shoot eighteen. And my lawyer said, "By the way, you know what did you shoot?" That was his last question. <laughs> yeah. The jury was laughing. Of like, course. And they acquitted me in, 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 in a half hour, whatever the fuck. Just it was. like that, it was. Done. I got acquitted. I, I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He, here's a guy who had a report. Twenty minutes after I got locked up, the first thing he's supposed to put in there is, "I threatened to kill him and his family." Of course. Yeah. He never put the word threat. Was nothing was ever in there. So you and how long did you wind up sitting in jail for this for? They had you in the hole, you said, what, for a month? Um, yeah, 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 a month. And then I beat the case. And then I got uh, I got superseded again on the Rico case in Philly, which we'll talk about. We'll talk about that in another that's episode. A, that's another whole episode. That and, and the one in, and if I beat the Philly one, yeah. the next day I got indicted on the same charges I beat in Philly in Newark Federal Court. Wow. By that fat motherfucker, Christy, Chris Christy. I can't believe that. Uh, the whole thing was made, and you got acquitted that fast because they knew clearly it wasn't true. The guy lied. He just lied, just like he that. went golfing. He didn't yeah. say nothing about golf. He wasn't that scared. Hey, whole, listen, if you're yeah. scared for your life, you're not. Golfing. You're going to go golfing? No. And leave your kids home? No. Come on. Your whole life got turned upside down. But this down guy was—he—he he, he was obsessed with me because every case I had, he used to come. Like my Rico case, my, my Rico case in Newark. Yeah. He used to sit in the back of the courtroom, dying for me to get convicted. Yeah. Dying. And as soon as I won, he would fly out of there like the court was on fire. Jesus. He would jump up. My lawyer, Eddie, was the best. Yeah. I, Eddie used to tap me and say, turn around, look who's in the back, Panero. I said, wow. I said he's here again. He said, yeah, he's here He's here to see us win again. That's amazing. And I won, and he would leave. And he would leave. How yeah. old were you back then, Joe, when this all happened? 99, 2000, 2001, wow. 36, 37. Yeah, that's and the, crazy. And the case in Philly, Philly and the case in Newark were uh, yeah. facing a death penalty. Wow. That's crazy. That's for another story. That's for another and day. And when another we talk podcast. about these stories, we're talking about it because there's people that are in jail <clears throat> that are convicted that don't have the opportunity no. to have an Eddie Jacobs, no. to have money to get a lawyer no. and do these kind of things. Well, they give them court appointed lawyers. So, the court appointed lawyer tells them yeah. they're going to win, they're going to win. Marks and they get hit with 10 you, years. You, no, marks the bill up. So they make all the money. The yeah. government pays them. They of have course. to pay them. Yeah. They ring up the bill of you know, 300000 then they go tell the guy you're dead. you got to plead guilty. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know they had this. That's crazy. It's a, it's a shame. But that's, that's why we talk about things no, like that. No, it's a shame what they do. Listen, if these guys had the resources and, and, and good lawyers, yeah, absolutely. a lot of them, a lot of them would, wouldn't even be in jail. Yeah. You know, the, the, these, they, they don't care. It's a system. It just, you know, it's, it's a revolving a door. Revolving door. They don't give a fuck. So, it's all jobs. Uh, who gets promoted? Zane Memminger. He was Barry Gross. He gets $1,000 an hour. He's a lawyer now. Wow. Uh, Zane Memminger. He was the head U.S. attorney. He worked for, he makes millions of dollars. Yeah. It's, you know, and, and, and they, they advertise, yeah, we put Merlino away, 
we put Scarfo away, what, we put yeah. Stanfield away. They just put that for the big names for the headlines yeah, and things and, like and that. And these big companies, these big law firms hired them. Yeah. They stink. Well, it's good that we're talking about and showing people how that there is good people out there, good lawyers out there, and we'll save the other stories. Yeah, we'll Maybe, save them. We'll save that for another time. We can't give everybody nah. too much of the information that we got. No, it's too much to talk about. Absolutely, but you beat the case. You yeah. got the, and you said that your daughter was held at the, one years old. One years old. So you got to come one home, year. see yeah. her. Well, I came, I came home, she was 14. Wow. But I did well, beat yeah. the case, though. Yeah. I did. I'm not complaining about yeah. that. Absolutely. So we'll save another story for another time. And we do have some positive news from last week from our podcast that we filmed at the saloon on 7th and Fitzwater. That was phenomenal. Yes, it Let's was. Let's just talk about the food. The food. Fitzwater Cafe across the street with Stacy, no, another Stace. great person. Stacy's the best. The way they cook. How about their naming a the salad after us? Yeah, they named the salad after yeah. us. The skinny. Yeah, the saloon's the best. The valet yeah. guys. Every From everybody, everybody, top to bottom. Top to bottom. We, we can't complain about that. They took care of us. Everybody's staff. Rich, well, Richie's the best. Richie, yeah. But we had some major support from the veterans last week. Yes. We mentioned the veterans last week. We thanked them for our service. You know, they put a massive merchandise order in for us. No, they did. They support us 110%. 100%. And hopefully one day, like we said, there's a lot of veterans out of work. Hopefully. Well, I want to try and do something. We got to get, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm not good with this stuff. We got to, we got to get a crew, something, donations, something. We got to help them. Yeah, absolutely. We're going These to... guys fought. They fought. Listen, they're still fighting for us. Absolutely. They're, they're, they're fighting for us right now. Yeah. Without them, we're dead. Correct. We got to do something for them. They, we got to get try to get them jobs. We support them. Well, we got to try to get them jobs. I absolutely. mean, Biden ain't going to do nothing for them. I mean, they ain't going to do nothing with the. Then that, you think yeah. he's going to listen to me about the schools? No. It's easy. You can yeah. solve it. Just Absolutely. put the fucking veterans outside with machine guns. Ain't nobody coming into school. Believe no. me. The kids are protected. They'll have jobs. Yeah. You know, hope unemployment will go down, things like that. <clears throat> so we support them. They support us. Thank them for everything they do for us. Especially, yeah. I couldn't believe when I seen the merchandise order. Yeah. How no, they're good guys. They bought, so. I get a million DMs. They, they yeah. DM me all day long. Absolutely. They're great guys. God bless you guys. Yes. Even in the even in the comments. Yeah. No, yeah. No, they're, so, they're good. They're good. Also... We, I wanted to bring this up because we didn't bring it up last episode. What? Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Oh, yeah, October. So October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If anybody's affected in their family, I know everybody has somebody. We have everybody. people. Everybody. I, so. I got family, friends, and I'm telling, don't listen to these fucking insurance companies. They tell the girls, don't get a mammogram until you're, you're 40, 50 years old. Yeah. No, go in your 20s. Yeah. I, got, I got cousins. I got friends 29, 28, yeah. 30. Absolutely. Both. Full of breast ca full of cancer. Yeah. So don't listen to the insurance companies. And I know, I mean, some people don't have insurance. You got to owe the money. You have to. Fuck, just go get it done and yeah. don't pay them. I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, uh, I get the money, I'll pay it for you. Yeah. I mean, you got to do something. You got to do something. We keep on sending Ukraine hundred billion, but they won't they won't pay for a girl's mammogram. I know. It's a fucking disgrace. It's a hundred percent. It is. It is. It's, it's a, a tough disgrace. situation to even talk about because everybody's every, every affected girl, by Every it. girl should be able to get a mammogram from when... From now till they die. Yeah, absolutely. They should be able to get it for free. I know. Why, why won't they do that? I don't get it. We support breast cancer. Yes. You know, maybe Sunday when we're at the Eagles tailgate, too, I think they're doing something for breast cancer. Yeah, they, they that's are. why I wanted to talk about it. And listen, if anybody needs any help with anything, reach out. We answer every yeah, DM. I'll, yeah, if you need help. I mean, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something. Maybe we'll, I'll rob we're, another armored truck and we could we pay for your mammograms. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> and we're going to donate money to the Breast Cancer Awareness yeah. Fund. We yeah. already said we're going to do no, something like yeah, that. Definitely. We're, we got a lot of things in the works, all things that are going to be good. Yes. So next, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the gambling from this weekend. I got hot. You did pretty good. I did good. Al the Lid did pretty good. But I wanted to bring up the funny story when we talked about <coughs> what you were telling me back in the day in the clubhouses. Uh, you know, there's clubhouses everywhere. Yeah. Let's call what is. Who, every, all guys well, hung around. People don't understand. Like no. in Philly, we had hangouts. Correct. It's like a social club. Yeah. You know, we just sit there. You drink coffee. We eat lunch. Guys cook. Yeah. We, uh, you break play, balls. Break balls. Play uh, gin. Play gin all day. Yeah. Play poker. Play, play anything. Get, yeah. Fucking shoot pool. Anything. Anything to gamble. That's just the way we were brought tell, up. Tell everybody about back in the day, though, with the bubble gum machine. Oh, uh, we had I a, heard this story from my old man. I heard it from no, a lot yeah, of guys. I think, your father, I, think your, I think your father probably played. Yeah, he did. He's a degenerate. Absolutely. We had, uh, who, who was it? It was like a charity came. For autistic kids or something, yeah. Could we put gumball machine? One was gum and one was candy. Some other, I don't okay. know what it was. So I'm like, yeah, put it in. So you had a, it was a quarter. You get like gumball. So they had green, white, yellow, red, black, purple, like, yeah. you know, all the, like ten different colors. Okay, ten different colors. Yeah. 
So we used to put 200 a guy up. That's 2,000. Yeah, 10 guys. Yeah. And we would put all the colors in a hat, and you pick. Yeah. The hat, if you pick red, you got red. You got pink, you got blue, whatever. Yeah. And we put the quarter in, and we turn it, and whatever gumball came out, you, you won. You get the money. You won. Every roll was, everything was $2,000. <laughs> Two I lost 14000 playing one day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, I can't get one gumball. Can't get one gumball. No, one gumball. That's just so but That's pure but degeneracy. That's, that's, that's pu what we did. That, but listen. I'm not, listen, I'm not telling people to gamble. Listen, don't be like me, please. No, gamble responsibly. If you could gamble... Afford it. Like, you know, exactly. don't bet like me. You don't want to wind up like me. Look, yeah. we robbed an armored car and lost the money in one weekend. So <laughs> yeah. don't gamble. I'm, t I'm telling people not to gamble. Exactly. I don't want you and to if, be like me. If you're going to gamble, you gamble responsibly. But that just goes to show you Philly, even New York, Boston, Connecticut, Florida, wherever you're at, there's social clubs everywhere. People are watching games. Pass the time. Play Monopoly for money. We, play, I, we used to play Monopoly for real money. Yeah, that's real, crazy. Real money. I know. I think you had a, I think when you cash in, you get fifteen hundred each. We used to cash, play Monopoly for real money. And how sick you got to be? Yeah, that is sick. But we did it. But you did. And my father did it. I mean, we did it. Everybody That's, did it. It's a different life. Listen, you know what I mean? I showed you a video the other day. How about my uh, my mom's making crabs and macaroni? We're all sitting at the table. Me, Danielle, Monique, my mom. He's got TVG on. He's betting horses. He's screaming like an animal. I showed you the video. Oh, the video is a classic. I mean, what, we're going to show the video. Face. Come on, champagne. One more time. One more time. One more time. When you see this video, forget about it. That's why yeah. you had no chance. None. You fucking got. You got to be a degenerate. No. I mean, it's just it's a shame. But what? I had zero shot. Had no I enjoy it. Shot. I do enjoy it. Yeah, but but last no, night yeah. when you called me, when my mom, no. what she saying in the background? I had Bryce Harper hit a home run. Even my mother. Your mother hit a play. parlay. Yeah, she did last night. Listen, I know when I was in, lived in Philly, old yeah. ladies used to knock on my door, with, like the Super Bowl. Of course. Could you put, get me ten dollars on the Eagles? Yeah. I got twenty thousand. I see if they win, you got a hundred. <laughs> yeah. You know what Crazy. I mean? You know, just everybody bets. Everybody and now. Listen, every commercial. Watch the football games. Every commercials. Bet this. Bet that. That's bet this. Bet that. What do you mean? You go to a gas station in Philly, they have Pennsylvania skill machines yeah, there. Yeah, you can play You, you can, can bet play anywhere. anywhere. Listen, in, in five years, every stadium, maybe sooner. Probably, yeah. Every stadium, anywhere you go, you'll be able to bet. You Absolutely. can sit in your seat at the fucking Eagles game, and they'll have a good thing, and you can bet right there. In Absolutely. play, live play, everything. Yeah. Listen, totally. And I went to jail for betting. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's legal. And I went to jail for bookmaking. They're the yeah. biggest bookmakers in the world. And they make more than everybody they make ever more than could have. And ever. Listen, ever. Just, just even when we went to the Phillies Everything game, I like, went to jail for, they do now. It's legal. Listen, gambling's legal. Like, when we went to the Phillies game the other night, we went to the Phillies game. Once again, thank you for them seats. We had a ball. No, it was, amazing it was game. rocking. Yeah, it it was really good. was. No, it was good. It was good. And then you go across the street, the live casino. By the way, live casino, the hospitality they've been showing me over there. Me and my wife this weekend, they picked up my check. I loved them. Beautiful. I stayed there. They're great people. But you walk in there. You see, in the everybody's there gambling. The whole neighborhood from everywhere. There's a, what sixty thousand people at the game. Yeah. They go to casino before or after. They want to gamble, so they're, it's got to. It, they're going to put in every stadium possible. They're, they're going to break South Philly. Yeah, they are. They're they going are. to take all the houses. Yeah, house. Everybody's going to be losing their houses. So, I told you, gambling brings you close to your, close to your family. You're living me. in one bedroom. <laughs> yeah. So don't gamble. Don't. Or if you do, gamble responsibly. Yeah, just, just bet ten dollars. Yeah. Can. Bet them little parlay things. Let's let's start. Let's get right into it. This is what the people want to hear. Last week's picks, we buried them last week. Yeah. I went four and one. Yes, you, you did. went four and two. No, five and two. You went five and two? No, I, yeah, I went five and two. Oh, you went two. five and two? Yeah. The lid went two and oh. Yeah, so now the lid with that wig bullshit he would come yeah. up with. He only had two winners. We had three winners, and you, I. No, I had, we had nine total. No, I'm saying, but I, I had, he had two winners. Exactly. I was five and two, so I had three winners. You were four and one, you had three winners. So, uh,. This Sunday at the tailgate, I think the wig's got to come off. The wig might have to come off for the people. Yeah, that's got to come off. Listen, if that wig comes off, it's going to be the whole stadium might empty out. Yeah, to they see might him. empty out. Listen, we had a good week last week. We've really got to start thinking about these picks. We got we're, the people want the picks. They love it. They want we're videos every Sunday. But I'm listen, have to fly here on Sundays. Yeah, but they have to. What do you call it though? They got to watch our clips because yeah, sometimes we change. Of course. I, that's like this week. I like Jacksonville this week again. We don't know but, if the quarterback. But the playing. quarterback's questionable. You know, I, I, I know. don't know if he's going to play, you know. I know. So uh, j just watch the clips. I'll put it up Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday, we'll do it. You know. You want to go first or you want me to go first? <laughs> you go first. Every week that I've been going first, I've been yeah. killing them. I've been good. But I love when the haters write under the comments. They think we don't say it. Right. Snuff over in the Giants game. Who would ever pick that? But what about the five winners I had? Right, they, they don't talk up. about that. Yeah, everybody. But wants it's all to... right. We love the fans. But I told and we you the Giants. I told you the Giants weren't going to score. I know. They fucking stink, and 
Buffalo looked worse than them. Giants should have. Giants got robbed. Oh, I know. That was pass interference in the end. Hundred percent. They called the first one with no time left. Yeah. The second play was worse. They didn't call it. It's what, all fixed. What's happened in the NFL this year? Oh, crazy. it's all fixed. I mean, it really I mean, is. Listen to me. How about the guy for uh, what was that game? Tennessee. The, Tennessee. The guy. <laughs> It's third. First Malik of all, Willis stinks. Another he, quarterback they have stinks. He had first and goal. Yeah. From the one inch line, you got the best running back in football, Derrick Henry. Yeah. Was never in the game. Listen, even if you're not going to give him the ball, just put him in as a decoy. Exactly. All they had to do was fake him the handoff. The guy rolls out, walks That's right it. in the end zone. I know. And then he kicks. It's third. It's third. Third and eight. Third and eight. Third and eight. Seconds left. Yeah. He kicked a field goal. Throw uh-huh. it in the end zone. You might get a pass interference. Anything they might score, you win the game. How Renee? What in the fuck are you doing kicking a field goal? They were first and one. They winded up on the thirty yeah. yard line. I yeah. mean, it's just it's bizarre. First and one on the one inch line. Yeah. Got Derrick Henry, Henry never never in the game. No, that Spears they had in. Uh, I can't I, figure it I, out. I, I, I don't. It's that, it's got to be fixed. It's got to be. How but, the fuck did you kick a field goal? Yeah, I know how. They <laughs> they they got to know the lines. They have the to. game didn't go over. No, nothing, and they didn't cover. <laughs> if they scored here, the game goes over and they cover. Yeah. If they score a touchdown here. The total goes over and they cover. What in the fuck's he need a field goal for? No one knows. It's it's disgusting. No, it's fixed. Let's get let's get and into they, this. And week. they want to put me in jail. Yeah. Them motherfuckers. I'm gonna go college football first. Number twenty ranked Missouri is home over South Carolina. Missouri minus seven and a half. I love Mizzou this week. Missouri, hold on. Missouri's over. I don't see your picks. Right here. You got one of yours? Right here. Mine right here. Next page. And All then right. you got Number 17 ranked Tennessee, plus nine over Alabama. <coughs> Alabama is not that good this Alabama year. Alabama stinks. They should have no. lost last week. So I'm going to take the nine there with Tennessee. I love the dog in that. I'm going to go with plus nine there. Then Alabama's gonna... home, right? They get every. Yeah. I hate... It's not a team I hate. And they're, I feel like they're home every week. Yeah. Then we're going to go to the NFL. I do like Jacksonville plus the three over the Saints. It's an early game, eight thirty start. Yeah, eight thirty in New Orleans. I yeah, don't it's weird. That. It's weird. Uh, if they Trevor Lawrence the... plays, I'm, I'm betting yeah. Jacksonville. If you yeah. don't play, I'm not. No, I'm he's not questionable. The game. Yeah, because they said so, he got hurt. I do also like the Raiders minus three over the Bears. Justin Fields stinks. Chicago stinks. <laughs> you know, what I, see Big Cat from Barstools. He's a big Chicago guy. They stink. Big Cat, if you're listening, <laughs> get off the Bears. They're horrible. I think the Raiders quarterbacks out though. Jimmy G. I love Jimmy G. I think he's out. We'll they, see. They said he, he got hurt. I yeah. don't know. We'll see. Well, whoever's going to start this week for the Raiders, if Jimmy G's not playing, I still like the Raiders over the Bears because they just stink. My biggest game in a week is over 49 in the Kansas City and the Chargers game. That's my pick of the week, my <laughs> lock of the week. I had two lock you, of the weeks. I've been winning you, them every week. You never bet on there one time. I'd rather lose. I never r- watch a game. Yeah. See when you say counterfeit money over. about the Giants, that's how I feel about betting unders. I'll never bet unders. Overs, overs, overs. Then we go Eagles. We we got. I want to release that. Uh, we'll release that Saturday or Sunday morning. All right. To see what happens yeah. at the tailgate. Yeah, the tailgate. We'll do that live. You're right. Yeah, we're gonna do that live. We're gonna do. I'm about- gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the lock though. All in right. That game. All right. Let's hear what you got this week. I'm gonna I, get a drink. I'm dying here. I. Snuffy, keep on messing all my papers up. College, I got. You gotta put your glasses on. Somebody said I look old with glasses on. All right, then don't put them on. Uh, Air Force over Navy. Minus 11? Yeah. All right. I like Air Force this year. They're a good team. Yeah, they should have covered last week. The guy took a knee on the ball on the five-yard line. How nuts is that? They, they could have scored. It's fixed. I know. If they score, they win. I mean, I they won the game. Yeah. They cover. Absolutely. Why would you take a knee? College, they run the score up. They I keep know. on scoring. I know. Uh, I like Iowa over Minnesota. Minus three and a half. Iowa ranked 24. All right. Yeah, they're good. I like that. <clears throat> and I like SMU. Minus over 19 and, and a half over Temple. I like Florida State a little too, but I don't know about the injuries. I know. Uh, Temple's uh, a bad team. Oof. Oh, they stink. They're, they're really bad. They stink. NFL, what do you got? I got the Detroit. It's my team. Detroit's good. They're for plus real. Plus three. Everybody thinks they're not good. They're good. Detroit plus three away, away. in Baltimore. In Lamar Baltimore. Jackson's been playing good, but Detroit's the real deal, Detroit's like you said. Good. Listen, you said that in the beginning of the year. They're a good team. I yeah. said it late, all this year. If they had made the playoffs last year, they might have went to the Super Bowl. I know. I like the Rams against the Steelers. They stink. Rams at home over the Steelers, minus three. I like that, too. And I love Buffalo over at New England. Buffalo needs to have a better game than yeah. what they just I put mean, up versus yeah. the Giants. But the New Nine's England. a big, big, big spread, though. Yeah, but New England's bad. So you got Buffalo minus I, I nine. I love Buffalo minus nine over New England. New England's New England's a bad team. I know. Mac Jones, he's done. done. He'll, he'll be playing in the fucking USFL next year. They finished last. He's gone. They're going to have a high draft pick. But Buffalo's got nine's a lot of points. That is, uh, yeah, on the road. 
on I mean, the road. They had a bad game versus Giants. Maybe they come out throwing. Josh Allen, Diggs, they say Davis. They're all they're all good players yeah, and they got yeah. good receivers. Yeah, they so. got a good team. And now we'll call Mr. Lid himself. Al and the see Lid. what he likes. Hold on. Let me get him. I hope he's not talking to his banker again. No. Let's see. Last time we called, he had his banker. He, Here he is. He ain't got a bank account. Here he is, Mr. Lid himself. Al. Al, real quick. Give us your games. And uh, Sunday, your wig's coming off at the, the tailgate because you lost. We beat you. The wig stays on. How'd you beat me? How we beat you? Snuff 4-1, and one, skinny 5-2, and two, no, lit 2-0. Five, and oh. Yeah. You had two winners. You, I don't want to hear about the rest of the games. You had two winners. You had two winners. You had two winners. We had three winners. And Snuff had three winners. Get it done, Al. So the wig will be off Sunday at the tailgate. So everybody, uh, please watch live. You'll see it come off. All right, who's your locks, Al? Give us four. Shoot them out, Al. Yeah, you get one game. There's 52 games. The, uh, my Stone Cold lock of the week is going to be the Rams. Okay. Oh, You're God, I picked them fucking. Go I ahead. What's them. next? Go ahead. And then uh, love the over in the uh, love the over in the uh, Miami Eagles game. Okay. Over fifty one and a half. Over fifty one and a half in the Miami game. Go ahead. I got a stone cold lock. Oklahoma State. Wow. Over West Virginia College. Okay. okay. Oklahoma State. Plus three and a half. They're gonna win that game outright. All right. What's your next one? All right. Let's go with uh, Green Bay against Denver. Ooh. That's a bad game, but I like Green Bay there yeah. too. Denver yeah. stinks. Denver's too. horrible. Al, yeah, tell the people you'll see them Sunday at the tailgate. What's that, brother? You're going to be at the tailgate Sunday, right? Yeah. Of course I'm going to be there with you. You right, might not sure recognize him. He's going to be bald. <laughs> <laughs> I went undefeated. How am I going to be bald? Well, we beat you. You said if me and Snuff beat you, you got to take the wig off. We beat I you. Got to the same game. That's the four games. Didn't I say four games? Yeah, don't, listen, don't you worry about it. We'll see you Sunday. We got to go, Al. Thanks for your picks. All right, Al. Goodbye. Uh, all right, brother. Bye. I'll see you. Yeah, the lid loves it. He's a superstar. Yeah, he loves it. The lid is a superstar. All right, Joe. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna be back on a flight home to South Philly tonight. Red October. Phillies are on. They're up in the series 1-0. Hopefully, right. they win again tonight. And then Eagles tailgate October 22nd. We're gonna be in G lot across from Xfinity. We know that. Yeah. Which is going to be another thing. Yeah, you got to come down. It's going to be crazy down there. We're going to have food. We're going to have we're not drinks. Going to, we're not going to do the podcast. We're just going to do a live video. Just a live video. Yeah, just for like 10, 15 there. minutes. But we're going to show you like uh, Fat Angel is going to be cooking. We got Johnny Luch, the DJ. Johnny Luch on the DJ. We got the Mumbers. We got the. Uh, Everything. We got Coach Bus. We, we got uh, we got a uh, open Coach Bus, Eagles yeah. Bus. We have. Uh, what else we got? We got Dominic cooking yeah. with Angelo, Maglio Sausage. Yeah, we're going to have he a good spread the, for he, people. He donated all the food. We got drinks down there. And it's going to be a family and fun environment for everybody. Eagles are going to be on the Wait till you see these fucking nuts. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. it be 100,000 people down there going crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. Philly has the craziest, best fans ever. Absolutely. Ever. I don't care what anybody says. And said. whoever comes in a Miami uniform, we're going to brace them in. We're going to welcome them. No, you them. can't. You can't. We're going to welcome them. There's only one guy who can wear a Miami That's shirt. That's it. And he's our yeah. guy. Yeah, he's that's, our friend. That's, that's it. Anybody else, you ain't got a chance. That's it. Now, Joe, tell me, t let's, let's end this show right now, tonight, today, actually. Talk about this guy that's just another guy that wants to put your name and all his stories on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, whatever else, saying he went to Peter Luger's with you with dinner and boop, boop, boop. Nobody's really even heard of this guy that much, but. What, Who, Panisi? He's in John. Not. Yeah, John, John Panisi. Panisi. Yeah, What's the, the story with this guy? The woman beater. Yeah, another yeah, one. Another one. Is he in the program? I don't know where the fuck he's at. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? He said on he said on his YouTube uh, he has a podcast. No, this is after he he put innocent people in jail. Okay. He, he said on it's his podcast. His words. They asked him um, if he uh, he already committed a crime. Okay. You know now, like. He Since said, he's been out of jail or yeah, in the program, yeah, or whatever it is. He, yeah, he said. He said, yeah. He said, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I did things. So he said, I can't. I can't tell you. If I tell you what I did, I'll get in a lot of trouble. So he's if admitting. I, he said he committed crimes, and if he he can't say what he did because if he did, he'd get in a lot of trouble. Wow. So if I got on my podcast right now and said that, yeah, they'd be here right now dragging me out of here Absolutely. with the fucking handcuffs. Yeah. I mean, it's just fucking crazy. And then he uh, he called his mother up. This is how he uh, he said he became an informant. He says um, he was home. So he is an informant. Okay. Oh, he's he's on 
He's on all kind of fucking pills, yeah. medicine. He's mental. He's a yeah. fucking What's schizophrenic. He, I did see in the newspaper he said he sees ghost or something. Ghost. He's, this is his words. I know we're supposed to ask for a sign. I was praying in my grandparents, just give me a sign that what, um, what the right thing is to do. And then if I didn't get a sign, I just do it on my own. I just kept trying, you know, run around with the pistol and make the best of it, right? I had dishes and glasses. I had a baker's rack with wine glasses and all kind of extra dishes, you know, and everything in this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's China claws. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Dishes. I had I had a call to my mother to to make her listen to it. It 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 was like there was an earthquake. Not for ten minutes. I'm talking about for hours. Ding 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 ding. All the things rattling. All the dishes, the glasses, everything was blinging, banging, wow. making all kind of noise. But I called my mother and I said, "You're not going. You're not going to listen to this." She said, "What is that?" I said, "Let me tell you." Let me tell you what it is. She said, oh, my God, I hear it. It's like an earthquake going off. It was his grandmother telling him from the ghost. His grandmother was a ghost so he sees telling ghosts, him yeah. that somebody was going to kill him and go cooperate. Yeah. Where in the fuck? How the fuck could you put this on a stand? I can't figure it out. You can't make us up. This is, this is worse than a, I, yeah. I don't know. It, the guy's a nut. Yeah. I and, met the guy one time. I don't even know him. Yeah, All he, I know is he, he's a woman beater. Yeah. And I said on the, the, the first ep a couple episodes ago, I said yeah. he knocked all the girls' teeth out, and somebody commented, it's impossible to knock every, every tooth out. I yeah. didn't mean it that way. Of course. Well, they, he knocked they, her teeth out. If you knock yeah. one tooth out, two teeth, what's yeah. the difference? What you the fuck? Her teeth out. You hit a girl. What the fuck? Yeah. You're, it's you're, you're no good. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's what he is. He's a piece of garbage. They'll never use him again. No. Never. They'll never use him again. And they just like this. I don't know. Worry. I don't know if he's in a program. I, yeah. They probably threw him out. They know he's a fucking nut. I can't believe, though. And there was a lot of things, and we're not going to mention any more names about these people, but they, the one guy said, I'm going to ride Joey's coattail because I'm getting a lot of views and subscribers. He said it. I couldn't believe that somebody would even admit that, which is great. But we're getting all the views. We're getting all the subscribers. And our podcast well, if he is If he didn't talk on. about me or us, who's going to watch his show? Yeah. It's the true. same thing with Dave Schratweiser. Yeah. He talked about me for 30 years. He wouldn't have a job. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have a fucking job. 30 years he followed me. It's amazing. It it's really just crazy, is. you know, what they get away with. But, but I want to thank... Uh, uh, we we uh, push back. Yeah, we push back. That's my, my man. Yeah. My man, Dominic. He gives us a lot of stuff. He helps... And, yeah. go, and, and go check out his site. It, we push back. And he, he wants to show the people. Listen, I'm, I'm not saying everybody's innocent. I'm innocent. I'm no angel. But if you, the justice system, if, if it didn't happen to you, if yeah. you didn't live it, you, you wouldn't know. Of course. You yeah. Know like, I, mean? I don't know. You don't you, know. You've never, you never been in trouble. No, I'm just saying. Exactly. But it, so, you know, what they do and what they try to get away with. Yeah. So we got to try to help, you know, try and help the innocent people, p people that can't afford to get a lawyer. Yeah. Um, black, white, Chinese, matter. Mexican. We're here to help everybody. That's all. We want everybody to get a fair and, shake. And thank you for everybody who supports us. Like, look at Tommy Stiggs last night. Yeah, Tommy, he's a good man, he's, Tommy. He's a good guy, yeah, too. Yeah, we're going to get him on the show. So we got a lot of good guys. How about <sighs> William DeMeo yeah. and yeah, his they were crew? Good. They were good. Everybody so, was good. Graves End Series, yeah. tune yeah. into that. We got a lot of good things coming on, but, we, you know, we're going to end the episode today, episode six. I think we're doing... A phenomenal job. I think we got a lot of good people behind us. We got a lot of momentum. Don't forget, we're on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify. Merchandise has dropped. It will be shipped out this week. We're going to have a new line of me and the skinny t shirts, hats, yetis, girl stuff, polos. Promo code is skinny. And stay tuned because we're going to be back for I think we need. Seven. I think we need golf shirts too. A lot of people are asking about Little polo golf shirts? Yeah, the golf shirts. We'll get them. Right. And uh, what else? Oh, and the, the tailgate. The, don't forget the tailgate. Don't forget the tailgate, October 22nd, Lincoln Financial Field, Lot G we're going to be in. It's the party lot. Anybody who wants to come down, see us, family, friends, it's going to be a great event. Don't worry about nothing. We got everything covered. And next week, I might do the podcast uh, uh, with, uh, with Angelo. Okay. We might, we, uh, we might cook a jailhouse meal. Oh, yeah, we might be doing that next week. Yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know. We'll All right. see you for Episode 7, Kujin. All right, Kujin. See you, Kujin. My man. You wanna meet me? Come into Philly. Be discreetly. I got thugs who love me and trust me to be ugly. Plus, I got holes in the cut and Dashiki's fast trying to beat me. Me and Jelini eating fettuccine. The Skinny with Joey Merlino.